Tonight we're on Operation Stay Safe and uh, we're out looking for some vulnerable young people that uh, we might, may need our, our help. We've always done outreach work in youth offending but this is another strand to it where we're out on Friday and Saturday nights with the police targeting all the antisocial behaviour, the underage drinking, um, all the things that are going on within Southend that weren't being dealt with possibly before. Um, and it's, it's obviously gone really, really well just by the, the numbers of, that are attending the youth clubs and the provisions that we've been putting on. So we're just striving to, to keep that going and improve if we can. Girls, it's 20 past nine. You're only 13, are you? Mm -hmm. We're going home once we've met them, because we're going back what to... What time are they coming? I think the most impressive and exciting thing about the Yoss is the, the fact that they're a group of self-starters, a uh, really good leadership in Carl Compton, but they identify the issues and look for solutions and they come up with solutions that are tailored to the young people they're serving rather than a bureaucracy. I'm Wayne, part of the street engagement team for South End Youth Offending Service. Um, set up the boxing club about nine or ten months ago to give the young people in South End an opportunity to get into something positive and constructive um, rather than sort of hanging around the streets causing antisocial behaviour uh, which was quite a lot in South End. This gives them the opportunity to sort of come in here, get fit, um, do something positive, uh, meet different people, socialise in different circles, um, getting them off the streets, getting them out of drugs. Both legs, no, both legs on the run, doing a lunch. I think a thing to learn from our Yoss is the need to actually relate to your client group, the need to actually relate to the challenges that young people are facing in our society. Whether we think they're going off the rails as adults or not, we need to be able to have a dialogue in their language, recognising the pressures that they face and actually come up with solutions and ways of helping those young people that will address the core of, of their challenges rather than just look at superficial answers. My name is Reese. I attend the youth club at Ferndale on a Saturday night with my mates. Um, before the youth club, uh, there would be about sometimes eight or nine of us in my mates' uh, garage. It's sort of like where we used to hang out. And uh, in the end, we got kicked out for it because it was too noisy. And uh, we was on the corner of a road for quite a lot. Uh, it was coming like a bit of a nuisance for the residents. Um, we actually got a grant. We had to have a a meeting in focus with Vicky, the PCSO, and we had to say what we'd want with the money, and a lot of people said we'd like PS3s, laptops, table tennis, um, maybe boxing equipment, like healthy, like health and fitness kind of stuff, snooker tables, and basically we just really like the stuff. Apparently we've got like £5,000 for it all, which would be really nice to get the stuff in here, give us more stuff to do, interact with each other, kind of know each other more than what we actually do. At St Nicholas School, we are running a, a six-week programme which covers um, safety and awareness, which means we look at um, internet abuse, we look at um, young people being groomed by paedophiles and perverts down in the arcades or in the parks, on the streets, outside schools. Um, we cover drinking and drug abuse. Um, we just generally look at their well-being and their self-esteem. Lynn's been in a couple of times already. Yeah. For the street engagement team arrived in South End, I and my staff were subject to physical violence or threats of physical violence and intimidation from young people certainly on a weekly basis, but sometimes it seemed on a daily basis. And the effect on the business was to bring staff morale down quite a bit. Well, if the street engagement team weren't around in South End, we would, uh, we would still be having a lot of trouble with certain youths and individuals that were coming in causing problems for us. Um, the fact that they were around and managed to help us out, um, a lot of the, the offenders we don't see anymore, so they've helped us out greatly. Family Intervention Project works with families that have antisocial behaviour in the community and their homes are at risk because of their behaviour. So we go in and work with the family intensively to turn their behaviour around to stop the evictions. 
I probably probably wouldn't have got into a hostel if it weren't for Debbie. She's the only one that kept making things happen. No one else was doing anything. If you know what I mean? It didn't add up why nobody else was doing it. Just one person managed to do so much. It's strange. If it hadn't been there, I wouldn't be here. I w I'd be stuck in a hostel. Um, I probably wouldn't even have my kids because you think oh, there's no way you can keep f three kids in a hostel. So I probably would have lost my kids. I would have been dumped in some hostel somewhere, and that's even if they would have let me stay there on my own. So lots of things could have happened if they'd been accepted. A lot of things. I'd like to thank them for thinking outside the box, for being imaginative and creative in terms of dealing with the problem. And it's a much more subtle approach, it's more effective with young people because it isn't confrontational. It's much more about, as the name implies, engaging with young people rather than confronting them. And it just works better. Um, I, feel, uh, I feel very proud that, the, that um, things have turned out the way they have. Uh, that we have somewhere to go, uh, we're not getting in trouble anymore, and uh, it could have gone the other way. So. I think the Yoss is a team which has particularly proud of the community it serves, and proud of how well the youngsters it gets involved in make progress, and that rubs off onto me. I'm spectacularly proud of South End, but I'm spectacularly proud of what the Yoss does to make South End a better place for everybody that lives here.